and tried this on the side. Of it. Some of them taste sweet sometimes, and I'm not keen on that. I don't like when they taste sweet. But we'll give it a try. I did my pot noodle a little bit different too. Uh. So as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see, see, but it's so much creamier. Look at that. Mm. As always, say your graces and let me get y'all a real good scoot real quick. I can have my seaweed that I might be cheesy and runny. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop. I'm so excited. Bottoms up. They've got a sweet taste to them. Mm. Mm. Doable. Let's see how they get on. It's just, I can't even show you properly, but it's like so much creamier and thicker, and it's just mmm, ooey and gooey, and it's mmm, mmm, mmm. It's quite nice to prefer my own taste, or whatever y'all call it. A roll or whatever, mmm. A roll or whatever, I don't know. What y'all call it? Mm -mm. It's not too sweet. It's got a little sweetness to it. I don't know why it was yellow. But it's nice. It's not too sweet, which I don't mind. Some brands do it way too sweet and it's off putting. I don't like sweet shit with my mango. Look at that. And another thing about doing it this way. You get chewy chunks of cheese as well. Reminds me of um, cheese balls, dead bad. So nice. And just to prove, disprove the myth, one second. I'm doing it like that from future. Mm. Just to disprove a myth to you. You can eat with a waist trainer on and a back supporter on too. If I remember rightly, I've done two mukbangs today. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
I love a good pot noodle. I don't know about you, but she's, I love a good pot noodle. It's so creamy and thick, it's nice. Like it's not like broth, it's more like a cream. Cheese bomb. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Ryan, you just left with just a lovely creamy broth. I tell you what, that is my go-to for pot noodles in the future, y'all. 